welcome to Satellite Film Store. We're here today doing a little think and drink. Cheers. What we're looking at is probably some of the most expensive land mobile satellite equipment you can get on the market. Fully global, which means you can take this just about anywhere. <clears throat> Maybe with the exception of the North and South Pole, because these satellites are connecting, or these uh, satellite terminals are connecting the satellites on the geostationary equator, meaning if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you're looking south. If you're in the southern hemisphere, you look at north. The one on the left is a self-pointing scanning terminal, so uh, you'll see it make a few passes as it looks around, tries to find service. <clears throat> Usually, right now, I'm gonna give it like a rating of like a seven out of 10, almost an eight out of a 10, where when you turn it on, as long as you have it remotely pointed in the right direction with a, uh, with a flat ground surface, that's gonna do the pointing for you. Really great for mobile applications where there's nobody technical and you just need to try to see if the dish is gonna point for you. Uh, we found though, after many years of testing, that it, sometimes it can be better if you have a trained person doing it manually, less things that can break. Still a lot of van, uh, value in, a, uh, in an auto acquire system, but right now I'm gonna take you in on what's called the Paradigm Swarm. Paradigm's a company from the United Kingdom, uh, from York and their company manufactures many different satellite terminals, but this one right now is my favorite. It's small, it can pack up in a small case. Look at that case. You can backpack that up a mountain, take that to a Burning Man, whatever you'd like. Right now there's not another man pack system like that that I have. Uh, so here, let's jump into some of the specifics on the, on the unit. Uh, and this is without me having a whole lot of training. We're about to get a little... Okay, so that takes me left and right. So that's that's called the azimuth, right? Which direction I'm pointing. And it looks like this one says elevation. So that allows me to adjust my elevation. Pretty, pretty simple. And I like that because it's... You know it's going to work. Even if it gets some dust and some rain. And whatever else. Um... So here we have their terminal, and I'm new to it, so I'm gonna invite Luke over to come and give us a little bit of a tour on what we're looking at here. Yeah, absolutely. So the thing you've got to take into account with when you're talking about pointing satellite terminal is, um, yep, there's loads of different ways to do it. You can use motors, or you can go without motors. There's applications for both. But what we found at Paradigm is that um, in terms of reliability, weight, and cost, dropping the motors completely definitely the best option and it's going to give you, you know, a more cost-effective and reliable solution. Now if you come in and have a look here we've actually got a pointing interface built into the modem unit and if you take a look at that this is kind of designed off the back of the BGAN system so in Marsat's L-band system which a lot of you are probably very familiar with. Now what we can see here is we've got a modem boost up, we've got a GPS lock and these LEDs here are just telling us where we need to go, the go down and left right? Exactly. That's so what I'm if, gathering there. So if you just do the elevation first there, right? So, so I think... Point it down. So first I'm going to bring it down. Yeah. So you see these LEDs coming in here? Uh-huh. This is Eric's first time pointing the terminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the beer. Okay. So that's that's about good. I got one more green dot. Yep. So do a little, 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 little bit more. Check. That's Sweet. it. Elevation done. Good. So, so now we just open up our course. Now, so if you swing that through, just swing the panel oh, through. Oh, you can actually just give it, a, give it a pull. Yeah, swing the panel through. Slow down a little bit, keep on going. So it's still telling us to go left. Keep on going through. Yeah, I know she's, I know the satellite's just right about there, right through those trees. So keep keep on going through some And this is a hard spot. This is, we like to say, if you can make GX work from here, you can make it work anywhere. Okay, so there we go. We'll so that. That, we're now pointing at the satellite. So Hit that fine course adjustment. So we'll lock off the course azimuth. You can see now we've got a receive lock. Yeah, and we can either jump straight into the um, into the network now by heading point, or we could optimize the signal. Let's optimize it. So all we need to do there, as opposed to bringing the LEDs in, mm -hmm. we're bringing them out. So I'm going to adjust the elevation first. You'll see we've lost the signal. I'm going to go back the other way. Signal's coming out, getting stronger. All greens is ideal, yep. I guess. Seen a new flash. That's a new <clears> signal <throat> peak. So I'm happy there. So that the means elevation. you peaked at a new spot. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to just do the same with the azimuth here. So show the knob that is adjusting there. Yeah. So we got the azimuth. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so all green there, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna hit point, and now we're just gonna wait for network approval. For that actually so. does the network registration. Yep, so that's it, that's the point. Okay. So while we're wa waiting for this to register with the network, so we're gonna take a look at the, uh, the interface here. So this is an interface. You don't even have to use this. You can put this in somebody's hands and they don't have to touch any computer exactly. to make their internet. But should you have an interface, what do, what do we have access to do here? Exactly, so this is a lot more detailed view of what we just saw there. So you can see here, we've got um, our geolocation. So we're down here in sunny San Diego and we're looking at the Imosat Americas satellite, so AOR. Yeah, that. And um, so it's telling us our satellite location. That's from True North, so 305. We had a compass. We pull that compass out and go to 305. Yep. Your azimuth is 105, meaning that oh that that's actually where you're going to be, depending on if you're using True North or not. And then elevation means we're 14 degrees up off the horizon. So just take another look at that little window we're shooting through. Charlie's going to put you over. So just like right there is the satellite. And take a look at our at our at our scanning one. While these are great when you're out in the open, if you're in a congested area like that, you may never find the satellite on a on a auto acquire system. Still a great system, but when you're in tight little spots or you need to have man portable uh, internet connectivity, I think this new swarm is really where it's at. So how, are we so registered? Yeah, so we can now see we got a solid green on the network. Solid that green, we're in and we are we are good to go. So you can see every, all these LEDs, again, they're reflected up here. Mm -hmm. And we can see if we jump into, for example, on the status page, we can look at the actual information that's pulled from the modem cards from the buck. Um, and essentially anything you'd be able to do with the individual components can all be done through this one common interface. Very cool. Can we test an internet connection? Yeah. Are, we, yep. are we, so, able to, we just probably switch the port? So this port's used for servicing, meaning that's how you're going to access the web interface. The other ports are... Um, allocated for internet access. That's to make sure that if you put a Wi-Fi access point here, they're not going to be able to access the, the terminal web interface. Um, allows you to have some security and some provisioning on so, your network so no one can get in there and mess with it once you got it all set up. But I'm really liking the, the tripod. It's really, really rugged looking. You can just see we've just loaded up a BBC page. Obviously, let's, let's, let's ignore this. Let's ignore this first. Not enough, so we don't need to see that. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's do one that I like to do. It's um, this one's called uh, speedofme.com. Or speed, oh, yeah. speed. There you go. That's the of, one. Of uh, dot me. You don't know. You're missing some, a letter there. Oh, sorry. Speed. Yeah. There you go. Right, oh, there it is. Yeah. And, and this is all based on whatever package you have this allocated with Demarsat. Uh, on this one, I think it's a, it's it's a just, demo just, plan. It's a basic demo package, yeah. But what we're trying to do here, what we have done here, is demonstrate quick capabilities to point a satellite internet terminal that is no longer a big clunky uh, dish. This is something that can be packed up in a little backpack and taken on all different types of shoots. This can be used for media, military, construction, uh, every company or organization out there that wants to be able to have small, portable, get online, easy connectivity, you are uh, you're seeing that here today. With this. So it looks like it's provisioned for close to four meg down and uh, close to about half a meg up, maybe. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we should be expecting roughly on this on this demo package. So these yeah. can be configured up to about two megs by two megs, depending on where in the world you want to go. Uh, if you want to connect with us. Uh, most of the people here at Satellite Phone Store are getting trained up on this new technology. You're also going to be able to rent this here in the next few weeks. Uh, I think this summer it's going to be really exciting to see this product working for us. Uh, we've spent many years looking for a good, ruggedized, high-speed satellite terminal. And uh, I think we're getting there with this. One of the things I really like is the camo, the ruggedness. It makes you feel like you're really getting like a military uh, grade terminal. And uh, for a lot of the applications that we serve and support in the mountains and deserts, all kinds of hard areas, I think this is, um, this is a system that's made and ready. We're only testing it here on the table right now, but this year we'll put it through all the, all the runs and we'll give you guys some feedback. But uh, be sure to check it out on the website. You can rent it or buy it today.